What's up, Wolf Packers? It's your boy, Wolf Doggy Dog. Do not try to adjust your monitor. This haze you are seeing is not a filter. We've been getting uh, lightning strikes. 100 degree weather. And fires raging throughout this whole area. That being said, I'm still going to be going on a toy hunt. Uh, there's reports of the new Black Series Mando in the Baskar armor. As well as Darth Vader. Coming out. So I'm going to be looking for those guys. Uh, the G.I. Joe lines are also going to be something that I'm going to be looking for today. And possibly the Kingpin. Stick around guys. Let's see what it do. It's hot today. About 104 degrees today here. Walmart. Let's see what it do. Marvel is depleted, guys. Maximum venom. Still sitting here, guys, if you want it. I'm sure Ross will have it shortly. And then DC's pretty thin as well. And no G.I. Joe displays anywhere. This Walmart sucks. Still keeping a watch on these. I don't want them at this price, but the minute they go on clearance, I'm gonna want her. So I'm walking through and someone, someone kind of pointed out an oxymoron. If you know, you know. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. This looks like I spoke too soon about this Walmart. We do have four snake eyes. Now, a lot of people have been saying that this isn't an accurate snake eyes. This is actually one of the first snake eyes it's from if you watch the, uh, the old animated cartoons. So I'm gonna want for sure these two and maybe Destro. Everyone else is debatable, but I, I am gonna pick up one of these Storm Shadows or Snake Eyes, sorry. Here we are in the pop section, as well as NECA. We're starting to get some of the Gremlins from Gremlins 2 showing up. Got two of them here. They got all the homies from My Hero Academia. All right, Wolf Packers, we are in Pleasant Hill. There is a Target, Ross, and a GameStop in this shopping center, so I'm gonna try all three. I'm also gonna change my mask up because if I'm one thing on this channel, guys, if I'm one thing, it's consistent. I'm gonna be checking out the GameStop, see if they have the either retro line yet for the Spider-Mans or the new Star Wars Blacks that came out. Got a chopper. That's all they got here right now, but got Yodas, they got Bespin Luke, Han Solo, the At At Driver. And Leia. Got another Yoda back there. And then some of the older figures. No Mando. Repeat, no Mando. They got the alternate skin All Might. Pretty cool. I'm not really looking for the Bespin Luke. I've got the Bespin Han Solo. Uh, I am enjoying this AC though. I'm not gonna lie to you. Here's what we got in Marvel Legends. Got the Sugar Man bath as well as the Crimson Guardian. Or Crimson, uh, I forget his name. And then he's cool. I, I like him. He's probably the only one that I get from this whole wave. Comment below what you guys think. McFarlane. The animated series. I pre-ordered mine, so I'm not really in the hunt for these anymore. But the new uh, Doomsday and Batman will be out, I think, next month. Checking out Ross, guys. I don't expect to find any of the Star Wars things, but we'll see what kind of deals they got here. Plus, the AC feels good, too, so we'll try that out. 
got a few of the Fortnite spread out all over the place as well as Overwatch. This guy was going for buku bucks a few months ago. Come to Ross, guys, where it don't cost to be a boss. So I got a couple four-year-old nephews that I want to bring over to the show and open up some dinos. But uh, I only found one carnivore and nobody wants nobody wants to open up a triceratops if having two boys has taught me nothing is that you need to buy two of everything because they will fight all right let's get out of here let's go check out target and see what it do in the marvel legends section guys it is looking grim uh i can't do the panel hack here they actually screw these down so you don't pull these up but they got everyone's favorite squirrel girl down here Target Pleasant Hill, guys, if you want it. These are becoming peg warmers a little bit. What they do have that I kind of like is clay face. I might do it just for the, just for the clay face. Pretty cool figure. Not, nothing as far as the new Star Wars Black, so we will keep looking. Hey, you can always pick up your very own Shannon Doherty Charmed figure. That's what I go crazy for. You know who I really want, though? It's Bay. That's Bay right there. Neckaville. Piggy Bank Baby Yoda. That's cool. Drake has been sitting here forever. Same thing with Dallas, I guess. I guess they're considered peg warmers now. Bill and Ted face the music. Conquered guys, flying colors. Currently 100 degrees, humidity everywhere. Let's go. Flying colors guys, I love it here. On top of having the coldest AC in town, they got some of the sickest figurines out here too. Come by and check them out, man bound to find something you like flying colors conquered target in walnut creek i've never been to this one before so let's check it out all right here we are in the NECA section i don't really see anything that i'd punch my grandma over they're, they're pretty well stocked though a bunch of the uh, tiny tunes if you guys are into that walnut creek target Check the Star Wars section. Guys, run. Run, don't walk. I got Benicio in stock. Yeah, nothing but peg warmers here. Let's see what Marvel's got. I already got this guy, so I'll leave him for the next one. No Punishers on the cycle, not even a Squirrel Girl. Here's what we got for DC. These are actually becoming peg warmers now. Still cool. All right guys, enough of that triple digit weather. Back in the house, let's get in front of the AC where we're at a chilly 74 degrees. What do you guys say we get in the office and open up some toys? Deuces. Back in the office, guys. Around here, we got a break in the weather. It dropped down to 95 for us. And me, like a Dumbo, I went where there's 100 degree weather to do a toy hunt figures. Ridiculous, ridiculous weather that California is getting. Most of the West Coast, the Southwest is all in triple digits. Uh, we got lightning. Tonight, thunder and lightning across the Bay Area. It was ridiculous. I, I got woke up at like five in the morning to the lightning and rain. And we had had 100 degree, we degree weather the night before. So it's, it's crazy times. We got murder hornets and all kinds of, it's crazy, crazy. Anyways, let's, let's, get to what, let's get to what we found today, right? Snake eyes. Now, this is not the snake eyes that I grew up with. These are not the 3.75s. I'm a, I'm a G.I. Joe purist, and these are not it. And yeah, I know someone in the comment section is going to go, oh, well, G.I. Joe started in the 70s or 12 inch. Yeah, I know. I know. But I didn't come into the game. I didn't make it to the majors till 82. So I grew up with these guys in 84, 85. 
No, it was 86, I think, when the toy line started coming out. It's different. Let me let me get a few more of these from the wave, and we'll see. Right now, it's like he's got a peanut head. The bodies are not the bodies that I remember. You used to be able to open them up with a screwdriver, and they had a rubber band at the waist. You can you can swap that out. It does not look like you can do any of those kind of mods to these. They're really cool design, but like I said, they're just they're shrunken. They're shrunken uh, six inch figures is all they are. I'm going to keep this guy in box. If I can find more from this wave, I know she's going to come in the tank with uh, the hiss. Uh, she's one of the ones I really want. Destro's one I want. The Storm Shadow that we're getting is not going to look like this. Like, their their box art doesn't look anything like what the figure looks like. Yeah, that's that's kind of weird. So they're they're kind of selling you something that they can't they can't produce. Anyway, moving on. Uh... $14.13 is what this one cost me, but we're going to open up some toys. I took you guys down to Vacaville about two weeks ago for a toy hunt. I'm going to tag along to uh, Vacaville. We're going to be in the North Bay. Holla at your boy if you're out there. Uh, the, the Vacaville right now is one of the hardest places hit by these wildfires. It's uh, pray for everyone in, in Vacaville, guys. Pray for everyone, uh, those hardworking men and women fighting these fires right now. It, it is crazy. 100 something degree weather and you're fighting fires and there's a chance of lightning hitting you. It's uh, brave people, brave men and women. If you guys didn't know, 40, uh, 2020 marks the 40 year anniversary of uh, Empire. See, I'm, I'm doing this the fast way. I'm going to come back later and clean it up with the, uh, the whole, you know, saving the card back thing. Yeah, 2020 marks the uh, 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back. So what is Hasbro doing? They are going to resell us some of the st some of the figures that they already sold us, and we're going to buy it because you know that's that's what we do. Now, I mean, I, as as you guys saw, uh, there was the Bespin the Bespin Han Solo was there. I have the Bespin Han Solo, so I'm I'm not gonna rebuy something just for the just for the card back which is kind of cool um another thing i want to say about this this is super super flimsy i grabbed the i, I grabbed the one that was in the best condition the, this, this was our first stop right after sitting in the car all day it had, had box warped about that much I, I set it next to the ac and put a little bit of weight on it so it's kind of getting its 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 curve back it's taking away the curve back in the 80s all the gi joes that we collected my older brother would would save these and we, he kept them in a drawer, he kept them in a box. He would say kids wish they had the just the box alone, not even the figure, you know, just the cut, the cardboard cutout. And I'd be like, shut up, you're an idiot. Go Google these, see how much they cost. So Empire Strikes Back, Luke, a lot different than the one from the archives. This is Star Wars, this is Empire Strikes Back. He's in, we'll, we'll get this guy open too. Comes with the Anakin Skywalker lightsaber. Trans, translucent blue got the hilt and he is in a snow speeder outfit because he's gonna climb into an at app pretty soon let's get the uh, archive opened up as well let's cut around if you want to save this there's nothing really too fancy to save it gives you a brief a brief bio about this one anytime you see a, a box with the orange stripe that's an older that's an older uh star wars black model I am not in the business of collecting archive card backs, but if you are, just, you know, keep it close to the cardboard. All right, so here are the two lightsabers. Empire Strikes Back is on my left, and Star Wars is on my right. So Star Wars is a little thicker, a little darker blue. 12-year-old me. Star Wars Luke Skywalker, fight suit Luke Skywalker from Star Wars does come with a blaster. It's almost like a Han Solo type. It's slightly box warped. We can, we can bend that. Uh, it's in the shape of a Luger. Like famous for the, uh, the one the Germans use, World War II pistol. And then he comes with his helmet. This is actually cool because if you have a Rey, you can put this on Rey and she can look like, like how she did in uh, Force Awakens. That's pretty cool. Well, his helmet comes off on the snow speeder Luke. So there is, there is a, a I mean, from far away, they, they look identical, but not, you know, so you can, you can tell if you know, you know. On the inside, they look about the same. This is a uh, snow speeder. This is Star Wars Luke here. 
pretty similar. Everything about them is about the same. It's just these are a little shinier, a little more see-through. Let's go over articulation. As we know, it's not great with Star Wars Blacks, but it is what it is. No, There's no bicep swivel. There's just up and down. Rotates at the wrist. Full 360. That far back. Whoa, we lost a head. But yeah, you can go that far down. Rocker diaphragm. Goes that far back. That far forward. You gotta be careful with these straps because you can rip them. Think of like the Predators, the NECA, how, how those guys rip. Kicks forward that much, kicks back that far. There is thigh rotation. Double jointed at the knees. Calf swivel. And then that far back. Kind of not, nothing up. And then you get a full 360 at the ankle. With Star Wars Blacks, the, the articulation isn't great. It's more about the look, posing them. So here we have it, Empire Strikes Back Luke, 40th anniversary, as well as Star Wars, Use the Force Luke. Pretty cool. Pew! Han shot first. The lead at. 1999, I got this guy. He's been sitting in a box for over two years now, so I'm glad I got to open him up. And then I just got him over two weeks ago. So that's going to do it, guys. I'm going to be actively searching for those 3.75 G.I. Joes, as well as the Mandalorian and the Beskar armor, uh, the heavy infantry uh, Mandalorian. And is still out. I'm going to be looking for that one as well. If I come across a Darth Vader 40th anniversary, I'll, I'll pick him up. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't kick him out of bed, no. Gwen Stacy and the Kingpin are another are two figures that I'm also going to be looking for. Oh yeah, and then we also got the uh, we're, we're going to be getting a Venomized Deadpool, De uh, Venom Pool. I went on Hasbro Pulse this morning at eleven, and they were sold out already on three of them. You're not going to be able to even get through Hasbro. You're going to have to go through Target or Walmart or whoever it is you guys go through. And that Build-A-Figure is sick. There's other companies that have made that Venom pool before. It's up to you if you want to spend the 165 maybe 180 to get those figures to build the Venom pool or go directly there and get the Venom pool. It's up to you. Thanks for sticking around for my Heat Wave toy hunt. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop us a like if you guys did. Uh, subscribe if you guys are new to this channel. And share us with some like-minded individuals. Use the Force, Luke. We will catch you on the next one.